Good morning, everyone. Sistiana here. Time for your daily tarot. For remember, this is a general reading for all signs, sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever sign you might be watching for. Or if you're curious about those signs, you could check out a video in my description. I do have a video up on how to find those other signs in your astrology. So um, yeah, check that out. And also don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure your bell is turned on so that you're notified every time I go live or upload new content. So let's get this message started. And starting with Aries. Message for Aries for today, November the 9th, please. And you're starting out with the Nine of Disc, having some type of um, communication about money um then you have the knight of cups i feel like this has been a bit of a torm like turmoil energy for some of you and then you got the ace of pentacles here so for some of you this is a new beginning that has been offered to you a new job that's been offered to you and you are undecided whether or not you want to take it i do feel like this has been just a an, an emotional roller coaster that you've been on and you've been it's like you've been putting all the work in you've been working and working and working towards it right i mean the money has been there but the the emotions like your your heart's not in that position anymore your heart's not in that job whatever it might be and bam you've got this new beginning that's going to happen that's really going to put you in the mind space, in the heart space where your desire, where your desire draws you to, right? Okay. So I feel like this is a new beginning. That's really nice. And it's going to be, it's where you're needing to go. Okay. I hope that must make sense. I hope that helps you. And of course, thank you for watching. And Taurus message for Taurus for today, November the 9th, please. For Taurus. We got the King of Wands dealing with a possible fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or you could have that in your chart. Then we got the King of Cups dealing with a possible water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or you could have water in your chart. And there's a new beginning. So for some of you Taurus, I feel like this is you or the person that you're dealing with. And wham, you have this new beginning the new ideas, the new actions. It's a fiery, passionate new beginning between the two of you. And it's really nice. I feel like this is you and your person and how hot and steamy this relationship will get. How really like intense this relationship will get. Wow, talk about a love reading for you there here, Taurus. I hope that makes sense for you. I hope that message helps you. And thank you for watching. And Gemini. Message for Gemini for today, November the 9th, please. For Gemini. You're starting out with the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is the card for Taurus. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. I do feel like this is you getting through some type of major battle. You got the Eight of Swords. Yeah, I, I sensed that before I even pulled the card. And then the world. So this battle is just about over. And if it's not, it's not going to be much longer. And I, I feel like it's going to just turn your world around whenever everything is completed, whatever it is you're, do, you're dealing with, because you're going to make it through. And it's not going to be, it's, it's like you're going to go look back on it and think, Wow, that wasn't so bad, right? That That's not so bad. Whatever it is, you're tackling it. You're tackling it, Gemini. You're tackling it, and you've made it through, right? Not such a big deal after all, right? I hope that message makes sense. I hope that helps. And, of course, thank you for watching. Cancer. Message for Cancer for today, November the 9th, please. We are starting out with justice, dealing with a possible Libra. You could have Libra in your chart. We have the Ace of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, Cancer, things turning around for you. Major 
um, I feel like this is a major windfall type of energy. Now, for some of you, it's a new action with a Libra that was not expected. It's, it's a change of luck. Um, I feel like this is like better times coming in and really breaking out of your shell for a moment here today, Cancer. Having, leaving, you like you're going to leave that shell behind, right? We're going to go walking naked type of energy, like just showing the world everything, just showing them what you are made of is what I'm feeling here for you today, Cancer. Really nice energy, like really showing them everything, right? You're going to show them who you are made of, what you are made of, right? Not all soft and uh, gentle and underneath that short, that short, that hard exterior, right? I hope that makes sense for you, Cancer. I hope the message helps. And thank you for watching. And Leo, message for Leo for today, November the 9th, please. We start out with the lovers dealing with a possible Gemini. This is a, uh, a soulmate situation. Someone you're connected to on a deep really deep level here and we got the seven of wands so you could be feeling kind of at odds with this person huh. and then the nine of cups so for some of you this could be a gathering where you meet hmm leo you are meeting your soulmate possibly today and if you're already with that soulmate then you know this is not your reading not that part of it at least right but for some of you, you know, whoever this, sorry, whoever this soulmate is, whoever this connection is, there's a sense of some type of wish being fulfilled. Now, this could be to do with a group of people or some type of meeting of others, bringing in some, uh, also feeling very guarded about your hopes, wishes, and dreams. So, Leo, like, I feel like, honestly, this could also be that you are feeling a bit guarded about your hopes, wishes, and dreams when it comes to your your partner, that you don't feel like they share that connection with you. But I feel like this is, this here shouldn't be there. That this is what you're truly looking for, but you are just too guarded about it. Let your guard down for a bit there, Leo. Let them in. Let them know what you're really dreaming about. I hope that message makes sense. I hope that helps. And of course, thank you for watching. And Virgo. Message for Virgo for today, November the 9th, please. For November the 9th. And you're starting out with the Emperor, dealing with a possible Aries. Also, Father figure energy here. Then the Queen of Cups, so dealing with a possible water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Remember, those could be in your birth chart as well. And then the Ten of Swords. Oh. Okay. So, Virgo. Who is this male figure in your life that you're like saying, Hey, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm not dealing with you no more. The emotions are just all over the place and you're you're wiping it clean you're like no nope, mm -mm. we're gonna slay it right we're done so whoever this individual is for you say goodbye like they they don't they don't want to come to you so why should you come to them type of energy here ends it while you still have your emotions intact that's what I'm feeling here. I hope that message makes sense. I hope that helps. And thank you for watching. And Libra. Message for Libra for today, November the 9th, please. For Libra. And we have the Empress. Then with a mother figure. It's also the birth of something new. Creativity, creations. Knight of Cups. Whew. Okay. Very emotional situation for you. And I'm going to take this. We had two fly out. We have the Ten of Cups with the Three of Dusk. Whoa. Libra. Making a decision to 
have your happiness to in like I, I feel like you're just embodying you're just you're you're taking it all in. You're like, nope, this is my life now. It does not matter what anyone else thinks, right? Because you've been on that emotional roller coaster, but you've been creating something new for yourself. And now you're like, you know what? Nope. Whatever that decision was, it's where you're meant to be at here, Libra. Whatever it's like you made your bed, now you get to lie in it. You you made your cake, now you get to eat it. It is your time here, Libra. It is yours to take for, it. it's like, no, it's yours. Whatever that's about. I hope that message makes sense. I hope that helps. And thank you for watching. And Scorpio, message for Scorpio for today, November the 9th, please. For Scorpio. We have the Five of Swords. Ooh, the battle is won, huh? The world. Yes, you've won your battle. You've created your... And then you got the Queen of Swords. Okay, so this could be an argument. And whatever the argument is, you're, it doesn't matter. Like, they might as well give up because you're going to win. It's not even... It's not even a point to fight with you because you are the victor. Um, also being... Be watchful. The, you know, the filter between the brain and the mouth is non-existent today for you, Scorpio. Non-existent. But it doesn't matter because whatever you, whatever comes at you, you're, you're going to tackle it. You're going to make it through. And you're going to make it through unscathed. It, you're not going to have any battle scars from this one here. I hope that message makes sense for you, Scorpio. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. And Sagittarius message for Sagittarius for today, November the 9th, please. The King of Wands, your energy, fire, Aries, Leo, or yourself, Sagittarius. Five of Swords, who victories for you as well. And the Three of Discs, okay. So Sagittarius, you took control over it and you, you slammed it, right? You have it in the it's like you have it in the bag, right? Whatever you decided, you won, you have your throne, you have the power. It's like, I just feel like you've finally woken up and seen what is truly in front of you. It's like, I feel that major awakening type of energy here for you today, Sagittarius. It's like just beginning it or you are just ending it, but you're in that beginning or ending phase is what I'm feeling. It's like you haven't really noticed it until now. Really noticing those synchronicities and signs. I hope the message makes sense for you. I hope that helps. And of course, thank you for watching. And Capricorn, message for Capricorn for today, November the 9th, please. For Capricorn. The Knight of Swords. Oof. The, the chaos is there, the just moving really too fast. Eight of Swords, there's something about an ending that you've created, but that you've created, like the minute I said created, and then the magician came out. So you've manifested this situation into your existence here. But you yourself have created the ending. Now, I feel like this is happening a lot quicker than you were expecting it to. So you've been putting it out into the universe. You've been really manifesting it. And it's like, wham, it's happened. What the ending, I, are you talking about it more? Have you just been really, really manifesting it and putting that those words out, saying your mantras, saying your, uh, your affirmations, and really putting out into the universe what you want to manifest if you haven't started doing it capricorn this is your time do it. it your your birthday month is coming your your time is coming and i just i feel like that's a really strong energy here for you capricorn i hope that message makes sense i hope that helps and of course thank you for watching and aquarius message for aquarius for today november the 9th please we have the Knight of Cups. Oof. We, we emotions here, huh? We got the Queen of Swords. The air energy yourself, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. 
and the king of swords oh lot we are you are all up in your head today really overthinking things now some of you just could be literally mouthing off and it's because you've been having a little bit too much or something a little bit too much liquid courage and you're like nope mm -mm. that that filter is gone you done turned it off and you just let in the mouth fly because the words are flying out and you don't care who you are hurting because your emotions they're turned off now they're turned off you don't care this is what's coming out this is what's hiding because you're done you're done who's that message for aquarius who is just letting it all out i hope that message makes sense for you i hope that helps and thank you for watching and last but not least pisces message for pisces for today november the 9th please the magician manifesting your your reality here aquarius speak it into existence six of wands Woo. the victory is yours you will get what you're meant to be and the three of wands okay so for some of you pisces what have you made the decision for recently that is going to bring you this really powerful victory because you've been manifesting it you've made the decision and wham wham you're moving forward and it is a beautiful victory here and affirmations today maybe powerful for you i am the winner right i am the winner i feel like that needs to be said for you i hope that message makes sense i hope that helps and thank you for watching thank you everyone for joining me i hope you have a great day and until next time i'm out for now